Okay, my man Cohen came out here to fight and he ain't played no games. I got to give him so much credit in that last episode. That was a good fight and I appreciate him. Unfortunately, he did get the beat down, but he did give us a good fight. Not only did he give us a good fight, he was a ranking fighter. So beating him, I take his rank. I am no longer not ranked. I'm ranked 15. Let's go. We're moving forward. We're getting stronger. We're getting better. Before we jump into it, though, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're playing some UFC 4 if you haven't already. If you don't know what's going on, hit the playlist, baby, and you'll catch up immediately and you'll understand what's happening in the story. It's good. It's fun. We're moving forward. Um, now that I'm a ranked fighter, I did get a new contract from Dana White. 24 grand if we show up, 24 grand if we win. Straight like that. I did get a contract bonus. Um, so I am the promotion. It's basically win the fight, basically. But that all being said, we're going to go ahead and transition to our first fight. So before we actually jump into the fight, I am going to go ahead and let you guys know who I'm fighting. This fighter, Pip Butler, isn't a ranked fighter. However, I did challenge him on the social media side of things. It is a medium hype fight. I am a ranked fighter. He is not. So we're starting to move forward. I still get 24 grand if I show up and 24 grand if I win. I can actually decline this fight, but since I taunted him, I don't feel that that's right. So we're going to go ahead and make a plan, go into training camp, go out there and have a good fight. I appreciate you guys. We're going to go ahead and transition into the fight. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Prelims no more. Here he is making his way to the octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 11 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Pistol! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobbing. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, round one underway here. This will be his first fight on the main card. This is our first fight on the main card. No more undercard fights for us. We are here. You already know. We got to get a win out of this. Oh, yes. Let's go. 
Ooh, ooh, gotta put your hands up, baby. I will say from our last fight, I did learn a few things about the game. Cohen did an outstanding job. Now we're beating on Butler. Butler isn't ranked, so I don't even know how he's on the main card. But I guess because I challenged him, they allowed him to come on up here with me. I don't want to lose because then I'll be ranked again. Because if he beats a ranked opponent, he takes their rank, I believe. Well, he gets enough clout to be at our rank. I know that. So we're going to see what we can do and uh, try to obviously beat on Butler as we get this stiff jab going. This is great. Like, he's going blow to blow with us. We're going to try to keep him on the stand up and see what we can do. Back to what I learned. I do got to put some uh, points into that ground game because when we got to the ground, yo, it's not good. Like, when we go to the ground, it's not. Like, it's bad. So, as long as we're up top, we got the power, we'll be okay. But uh, we'll be okay. Did you see that Superman punch? Oh, let me, let me see it again. Oh, oh he got me. <laughs> he ain't fall for it that time, but I'm going to try to get it. I'm going to try to get it. I'm definitely going to. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come here. Mm. I like this dude because he wants to play. You know what I want to do? I'm going to get the clinch. I'm about to grab this dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. There you go. Come here. Stiff jab, baby. Stiff, stiff jab. Oh, woo. Mm, kick him. There we go. Oh, them kicks. You got to be careful. You got to be careful with them. Mm, there we go. Look. Oh, he got me. Oh, speaking of ground game, here we go. Here we go. Woo. The lightning uppercut, he got me. Oh, that one too. Oh, I was about to Superman him. Oh, I got him. Wow. Oh. He gloved it. Mm, come on, Butler. Come on, baby. Put your hands up. Oh, he got me. Okay. He told me to put my hands up. Nah, I got to go back to transition the regular. Mm, there we go. There we go. Mm, that was a good hit. He blocking his uppercut. He ain't trying to get this. Alright, he survived. He survived. Go ahead. Butler's doing work. I got to give him that. He, he came out the fight, and I like that, and I can appreciate that. He's doing good. Look at my team. They working on me. All right, we good to go. Let's go. I know he hurt. I know. A lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, round two. Let's go get him. I'm going to hit gloves with him. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I got sportsmanship. Woo. Woo. <laughs> and, oh, oh, Butler's hurting. Butler's hurting. Butler, you hurt, buddy. You hurt the Superman. You hurt. Oh, he's okay. Woo. Woo. He's having a glove sandwich. He's having a glove sandwich. He's having a... Glove sandwich. Yo. <laughs> uh, and he's out here. Oh, wait. Oh, he didn't knock himself out. Oh, he's out now. <laughs> Butler is out here. He took some hits, didn't he? He took some hits. Somebody make sure he's okay. He might have brain damage. <laughs> Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leving! 
Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking. Well, there we go. The fight is over. It was a good fight. He did well. Butler did actually really, really well. He got some good hits in, but he just couldn't capitalize. Couldn't keep up with his power and these gloves I got going here. So, But that's okay. We did get the W. I wanted to say I appreciate you guys coming out to watch. You guys are awesome. If you can, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell for more, all that wonderful good stuff. I've been having a ball playing the game, and I will definitely, definitely see you guys on the next one.